I'm sitting on a bad boy piece of information Not too long won't keep you waiting One rap star the queen was dating Fuck that now cause he's a pagan Sitting on this it's been some ages All this time he's been on playlist In my mind I need to say this What kind of man will see if you wait? Hi guys, hi guys My name is Lani Good Welcome to my YouTube channel and um, if, you, if this is your first time coming across my channel then Hi! <laughs> my name is Lani and if you're a returning subscriber then I've missed you, I've missed you heavy, you know what I'm saying? Anyway look, I just want to say like, I haven't been on YouTube for so long, like this almost feels alien to me, like being in front of the camera, it feels really alien. So I kind of thought like before I get back into the swing of things, because I am going to be dropping more content and stuff, um, I just thought I would explain where I've been. I feel like my last, not even my last, I feel like recently I dropped an update video and I feel like that's all I'm doing. My apologies, but I have my reasons, so I'm going to get into them in a second. Um, I'm going to talk about things that I never wanted to address on this channel, but I kind of feel like I would like to address it because I feel like a lot of my supporters um, see things going on, but maybe they don't bring it to me because they don't want, like, I, I guess they just don't want to stress me out. Um, I want to thank everybody who stays supporting me even when I'm quiet. Usually when I'm quiet, it means I'm cooking. And I am cooking something, but at the same time, I, that's not the only reason I've been quiet. So I'm going to just start with some of the reasons I've been quiet, like the, obviously it's a life, life update, so I'm going to tell you what I've been going through. But obviously everything's going to change from like today. Like my life has dramatically changed this year, like crazy, compared to last year. I would actually say 2023 has been a great year for me, even though I've been quiet. So, I want to just start by saying, um, one of the first things that Okay, one of the first updates I want to say to you guys is, like, I have been struggling with um, wisdom tooth problems. Like, this is just, this is, like, obviously, it doesn't seem like a crazy thing, but, like, they hurt. They really, really hurt. Wisdom teeth, like, and, like, tooth issues are, like, the worst. So, um, I went to the Beyonce concert. I was supposed to even do, like, a little TikTok vlog. I didn't end up doing it because, like, my, like, it, it was triggered when I was there. And I couldn't cope. And I think, um, I don't know if you could tell, but I had my wisdom tooth extracted a couple of days ago. Because of my wisdom tooth, I just didn't want to do anything. I didn't even want to think. I didn't even want to like, like plan towards some of the things that I want to plan. I've literally, a lot of people have been waiting for me to reply to them, to get back to them about certain things. I was, I've been in pain. I haven't wanted to talk to anybody, so. I almost feel like I've got my life back now because I'm not in pain constantly. When I was in, I was in pain constantly, like, girl, I was sleeping, I was sleeping upwards. Like, I was sleeping upwards. Like, I was sleeping literally upwards, like, on the sofa, sleeping upwards. Like, I couldn't sleep lying down. There'll be a throbbing pain. I was taking painkillers every, like, every two hours, literally, like, overdosing like taking six pills every two hours and then like i would have to go from cocodamol to ibuprofen to to just everything mate like i'm not gonna lie to you if i if i had a plug and i could have taken something stronger i probably would have done it it was like awful but finally i had my procedure on wednesday um uh, my face should be a little bit swollen on this side but i had my procedure on wednesday and they yanked out my tooth and i'm feeling I'm feeling free i'm still in pain right now i've got stitching in my mouth i'm feeling in pain um and i'm feeling i'm not back completely to myself but it's been i'm four days post tooth extraction and i do i feel free i feel i feel normal i feel like get it girl like get your life back so that was one of the things i wanted to share with you my wisdom teeth really was like the death of me and it sounds like a silly thing but with like teeth pain like you might as well like just stop your life seriously so that's number one. Number two, um, I, I don't know if you saw my last, my last update video. I said that there were some financial issues in my family, especially with my sister, because she wasn't working last year and I was helping her and stuff like that. And then, oh, guys, don't even want to get into stuff, but I've had some drama with my family. Um, oh, I have had some fam um, drama with my family. That's basically what I can say. Someone, the person who is a major... Um, major uh what's the word i'm looking for breadwinner is um retiring um due to health complications it's just drama um but anyway um okay i'm going to talk about me in particular to do with my finances um my finances are way 
<laughs> I can't even like God is good. Like my finances are way, 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 way better than they were last year. Um, I just I, I wouldn't even say it's out of nowhere. I've been I've, behind the scenes. I've been doing certain things. Um, you know, like I can't explain what I mean, but I know what I mean. I've been doing stuff, something behind the scenes to try and make um, extra income, and um, it's worked out for me, and it's worked out for me really, really well. Um, and I'm just, <laughs> God is good. And I'm, obviously everyone knows, like, unless you didn't watch Tempting Fortune, I got 20 grand off Channel 4. And I use some of that to invest in my, I just want to say, I'm just going to call it an investment. I use some of that to invest in my investment. And my investment has started paying me residual income. So I am great. Um, I still work. I still do, like, um, freelance work and stuff. And... Uh, financially like just I feel so free and the reason it's important for me to state that is because sometimes I feel like it's very difficult to live life and to manage and to go day by day without money and I, I don't mean like we all ha I have obviously I have a, always gonna have a roof on, over my head right and I've got my mortgage but without like sometimes you need money to like especially do things you want to do like you know me like i love doing music and doing music videos like you you need money to do that stuff so um i ain't been on holiday for a minute i visit my mom in africa but i mean i haven't been on a proper holiday so i booked one <laughs> you know i'm so excited yeah i booked a liquid santa read me but it's not gonna be my only um holiday this year i'm gonna do about two um so that's that like um, that's th that's where I've been for the last three months I think I've put my head down and really put my head into my like little investment that I'm doing on the side because like I just thought like I need to get this I need to get this crack in it's something that I've been trying to build for the last four years and finally it's giving me residual income I've started a kids channel and the kids channel is in in a way similar and when I say similar, what I mean is it's something that I might not see money from today, but it's something that I think can give me a little bit of extra money by the time I get to like, I think I give, I'm going to give myself a year and a half max. And I think by then I should be monetized and I think my channel should be doing okay. If it's not, I still, I'm still not going to give up. I'll be honest with you because I feel like, um, kids content for me comes naturally. And I feel like, I just like sky's the limit with kids content so that's something i want to thank everybody who has subscribed to my kids channel i'm going to put a link below in case um any of you please if you have si little sisters if you have siblings if you have a daughter please put them onto my youtube channel like um honestly it's really difficult sometimes i spend my whole saturday and sunday filming with my sister it's me and my sister's channel like honestly like we're building like i spent we spent like a grand on toys honestly like a, a grand on toys and it's going to be worth it i know it will be it's not something that's going to be overnight success i expect it to take I, i'm telling you my target is a year and a half and then i feel like i'm not someone who's saying that i'm going to be a millionaire off it but even if it's giving me 500 pound extra a month every little helps baby every little helps you know what i mean the more the more pots you have your hands in just the better your life will be so I'm really passionate about my kids channel period so if you guys think i'm a weirdo for playing with barbies like it's not for you so please like just like put on your sister i'm begging you like put your sister your little brother your cousin your auntie who, like whoever like your niece your daughter your well it's a girly channel so it's, uh, girls will, enjoy, will like it more but please 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 put on whoever you can i really really appreciate it um Okay, what else can I give you? Oh, let me drink some water because I feel like I'm coming to the to the juicy bit. I'm coming to the juicy bit. Um, ooh, is that it? Oh, 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 my show. Okay, I'm gonna talk about my show and then I'm gonna get into um, me and Yasmin's friendship. Okay, so um, part of the money that I won from the show on channel four i'm using it to fund my own love island it's gonna be a it's, it's not gonna be love island but it's gonna be a love show it's gonna be a little bit ratchet a little bit toxic however i want to make this very abundantly clear i'm not someone who's gonna be like oh i'm gonna make my own love island and then i'm gonna not 
put my money where my mouth is and I'm not, I'm gonna do it in like Tottenham. No, 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 we're not doing that. We're flying everyone abroad. The villa I found, sorry, I'm even spitting out of excitement, yeah? The villa I found is so sexy, like, are you dumb? Like, it's gorgeous, yeah? Oh my god, guys, I can't even, like, I've been wanting to come online and talk about my show for so long, mainly because it's not easy, yeah? And I'm not here boo-hooing, boo you know what I mean? Amen to the to, to the God above because he's given me the funds to be able to even do this like Amen to the to the to the Almighty like so I'm blessed but so I've patterned my my camera crew more or less I pattern my camera my camera crew but let me tell you something guys the complication came with the complication came with um like, so I I wanted to be transparent with the villa because what I didn't want is us to get there and then, like, they see a bunch of big black men pull up and they see all these black women and then they get... You know, Airbnb, they can be a little bit techy when they see black people because they feel like we're... I think they think that we're ratchet, we're irresponsible. So I kind of thought, you know what, I'm going to be transparent. The only time I've ever used Airbnb, the reason I haven't had, I haven't had any problems in the past is because I was riding with a couple of girls. Like, I was, I've was, i always gone with females. You know, understand? Like, maybe there's one or two guys, but I've always gone with a bunch of females, so I feel like it's easier. But this time, like, I'm literally pulling up with bare, with, with like, with, with bare niggas. Like, the camera crew are niggas. Like, like what we're talking about. Like, I, I just kind of thought, like, like, this isn't, gonna be easy do you know what i mean and I, what i don't want is to be there and have any problems so i thought be transparent from the start from the get from the jump so immediately like i was looking for villas i was telling them what i was on like i, I didn't say a love show but i definitely said like i'm gonna be i want to film you know what i mean i want to film i want to I'm, I'm creating content that's why i'm there um is that something that you are, are, are happy for me to do um, and I found, like, this villa, I'm not gonna lie to you, the villa I found is, like, orgasmic. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It literally, it looks like no, I, I've cut no corners. It looks like budget. Like, Lani's done budget. So, I'm so, like, I'm, I'm proud of, um, I'm proud of myself even for finding it. Um, we had a little hiccup with the villa because, um, they were asking me to send them deposit money privately. Which I didn't like, so I ended up cancelling. But we sorted it out. They, um, yeah, we sorted it out. I've done loads of research on them. They're Lidge. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna rebook with them. They, and the, the show will be filmed in October. I clocked, because they have a website as well, I clocked that going off season is cheaper. So, we're gonna feel, film it first week of October. I haven't even been, like, for the last month, I haven't even been dealing with the, the, the villa show forget the villa show i haven't been dealing with it because i've been i haven't been feeling i haven't been feeling good because of my tooth like it literally it's in your head like it's your brain so i haven't been dealing with it but i'm back on it um i've i definitely have my my cast however i'm still open if like i can kick people out i'm not gonna lie if someone's epic they're epic so if you're a guy or a girl and you 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 want to be on my love show like we're gonna break history. We're, we're gonna trend on TikTok. Yeah. So if you're interested, like DM me and we'll set up an interview. So I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. I'm really, really excited about that. And I feel blessed. And I hope you guys watch because I'm spending an arm and a leg. Okay, you better watch. Um, but I just kind of thought like, you know, like Trend Central makes shows. What can I make shows? <laughs> Why can't I make shows? Like, so I'm really excited for this new era of Lani. Um, I'm back. I'm back. I'm alive. I feel like... <sighs> I know life happens and people always say life happened. But for me, like, until I got my... I had to pattern my money and I've patterned my money now. So I feel good. Like, I feel I feel awesome. Like, I, I feel... Even like, when I'm spending money on stuff, like... Obviously, it still, it still, like, burns my chest. But I feel a little bit better about it because I know... That I'm getting, uh, I'm getting like a good amount of money every month. So what else has happened? I haven't been on camera even when. Okay, so I'm going to talk about this very briefly. But like there was recently there was the um back. On, okay, so my man's leak leaked videos and pictures leaked, and I went back and forth with my man 
um, this is like a couple of weeks ago. Ah! Do you know, I just want to say one thing and then I'm going to move on to Yasmin. The only thing I want to say on that topic is, I found it really, really ironic. Yeah? Yeah, I found it really ironic that, um, my man wants to go around, oh, let me talk directly to him, like, let me not even talk to the dead person. You know, because niggas be praying, but let me just talk directly to you. I find it really funny, yeah, that you want to go around saying that you, you, you only know me for five minutes. <laughs> that you, you hardly know me. That I'm some, like, making it seem like I'm some groupie. I find it really funny that you say, you, you say ish like that, but in the same breath. When everyone's making fun of your kadonk kadonk and saying it was tiny and saying it was small and they're saying it was like a little gherkin, yeah? You wanted, you were trying to come on this, come on this, writing paragraphs thing, coming on this. That's, that's why she's whipped though. That's why she's whipped though. Get me? Like, coming, like, I can confirm. And then you put a clip. This is, this is, this is the killer, yeah? You put a clip. Of me talking in a YouTube video talking about how much I loved Josh Long, which is irrelevant because I was I was talking about how I felt back then. But anyway, you put a video of me talking about how I loved Josh Long or whatever to basically counteract the fact that everyone's calling your thing small. So hold on a minute. What I'm confused by is this: Am I a reliable source? Or am I not? Because what we're not going to do is say that Lani's not a reliable source. Lani took shit. I don't know that girl. She's a fan. And then in the next breath, you're being like, here's evidence from Lani to back that my for, that man's thing is packing. I'm either a reliable source or I'm not. I'm either a reliable source or I'm not. Like, make it make sense. So one minute I'm not a reliable source, I'm off my rockers, I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm insane, I'm obsessed. That's what you said, yeah? You hardly know me, what well, you beat once, maybe you was drunk, you wasn't even looking, you thought I was someone else, oh, it was a mistake, whatever you want to say. Then the next minute, the here's evidence that my thing's big. Which one is it? Do I talk ish or not? You can't be using me as evidence to back what you're saying, when you're saying that you, that you don't even, you don't even want to claim that you know me like that. But now you're, you're, you're using my videos, my YouTube videos, to back that your thing's big. I found that very, very, very hilarious. Hilarious. That whole week was, was a good week for me. I was, I was, I was absolutely laughing. What we're not going to do, what we're not going to do is, I'm not going to back your thing. I'm not. I'm not going to come on the internet and back your thing. Why would I do that? The fact that everyone thinks your thing is small is hilarious to me. It's hilarious to me. It's hilarious to me. Get a grip. One minute I talk ish, the next minute I don't. Bitch, bye. Okay. Before I get into Yasmin, actually, I've got a song called Lonnie Good Good. You've heard it, it's in my intro. I'm thinking about changing the beat. Basically, the music video was a very fun video. It's a little bit in a school, but it's, it's, it's a different theme. Um, I've already got Hella Girl saying they're gonna do it, but if you wanna be my school vi school video, this video is not, obviously you guys know, like I said, <laughs> a bitch got some extra fun. So basically, if you wanna be in the video, it's not gonna be a cheap video. Get me, it's gonna be a good quality video. I'm, I haven't dropped a song in so long, this has to be a real comeback. I'll be, I'll be real, guys. That has to be a real comeback. I'm here. And this is the thing. Anyone can say what they want about me, but let me tell you something. When I want to drop a video and I want to do budget, I'm going to do budget. Yeah? I'm going to do budget. I'm going to give you a video. I'm going to give you visuals. I'm going to give you visuals. So learning good, good is going to be a real good song. Okay? Um... I'm within a trend. It's gonna be. It's like, listen. No expenses spared. Lonely good good going off. Okay. So if you are interested in being in my Lonely good good video, then DM me. It's just a fun video. Um, like I said, it's school themed, but it's not school girl themed. But it's in a school. But I'll explain that when you DM me. Um, it's just yeah, super fun, super super cool. Um, Realistically, it probably won't be filmed what until maybe end of July, maybe it'll come out early August because at the end of the day, um I've been slacking. This week I'm getting back onto it. I need to pattern, I need to pattern everything, I need to pattern outfits, everything, but 
we out here we out here last and not least last and not least i never thought i'd talk about this topic but i kind of thought you know what let me just say my one piece because what we're not gonna do is um i went on a podcast and i, f I felt there's a podcast on s on a girl called Esther's channel and i was on it and i felt a little bit um i'm not, I, I think Esther's got is a sweet girl but i didn't like the fact that she asked me about yasmin yeah and I kind of thought to myself at the end of the day, what we're not going to do is... I've got my own platform. If I want to talk about the girl, I'll talk about the girl on my own platform. What the, what the F? That's what I thought in my head. But anyway, I'm going to just briefly talk about the situation. Um, I'm not going to do like a whole like what happened, but I'm just going to I'm just gonna get stuff on, off, off my uh, mind. Um, okay, so... My supporters, um, yeah, obviously Yasmin was like basically one of my best friends. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'll be real. She she was my ride or die. I, I loved her. I'll be real. I really loved her, and I probably will always love her. I'll have a soft spot for her because we were so close, and she was there for me no matter what, no matter what. And she talked talk to me about anything, and um, I I don't take for granted the little thing she did for me. My sister's phone got stolen and I was going through it because money was low and I was going through it, yeah? And I wanted to pull up because they tracked the phone. I wanted to pull up and, and, and I wanted the Yasmin to go fight them for me. She pulled up. She was a good friend to me. Let's just make that very, very clear. She was a good friend to me. I just think, like, just because someone is a good friend to you or, 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 you, or so, you were... Um, you had a good relationship with someone that doesn't mean that that person can't make a mistake i feel like all, as humans we all make mistakes this is my opinion by the way this is and i'm entitled to it i feel like he hasn't made a mistake towards the end of our friendship she may feel different and guess what she's entitled to feel however she wants to feel i personally feel like she made a mistake that's just my that's my opinion if she thinks i made a mistake fine I'm woman enough to um, accept that everyone sees things differently, but I can't change how I feel. I, I'm, like, I've, I've had time to sit on this. I've had time to ponder on this. I've had time to really, really like fester in this. And I think she made a mistake. I don't only think she made a mistake during, because, um, let me not even beat around the bush. Me and her fell out over Mark. Cuban she's done interviews about it so I'm not saying anything that no one no one don't know me and her fell, fell out over Mark Cuban um I think I think the problem with the Mark thing is it's just it's just a very it's touchy it's a touchy subject because I believe he leaked my stuff um the thing is I the only reason she even had a she even spoke to the guy I'm not going to sit here and pretend that like she spoke to the guy because she wanted to. She, the only reason she even spoke to him is because um, he was helping her with something really important in her life. She was going through her, she was going through something legal and he was helping her with that. And so she, she was talking to him for, she had good reason to talk to him. I won't lie to you guys. I had, I, and I, I, I have to be a grown up and be like, I get why you, why, I get why you, you still chat to my man. Um, he was helping her, and at the end of the day, just because someone's bad to me doesn't mean that that doesn't mean they're going to be bad to you, type of thing. So maybe to her, he is a good friend, or was a good friend. I'm just trying to be mature about the situation. So they spoke, and he was helping her with something very important to her, and I can respect that. And she said that on platforms. But where it went wrong, and where I feel like she she was in the wrong is where I feel like when it came to me and him. I kind of think she should have like I think she should have stayed out of it um and what I mean by that is I mean in in the sense of I, I really don't think she should have been policing 
our our interactions is, is basically what I mean. Of course, I'm, of course, she's my friend, so she's gonna be a listening ear. She's gonna listen to my grievances about him, and vice versa. She might listen to him a little bit because they talk, they have their own relationship, and like I hear it. But like when it comes to maybe like me being petty on the internet or me wanting to to to, 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 to do something, whatever it is, whatever it is, that's my business, and I don't need. I don't, I don't, I don't need to be told, you know, don't do this or don't do. I, it just, it just doesn't sit well with me. I'm vexed. I don't like the guy. I feel like he leaked my stuff. You know what I mean? It's beef. It's straight beef at this point. Um, I will never fully understand how we ended because I don't really get it, and I'll tell you why I don't get it. I don't get how someone who was so loving to me. And who had my corner on my back for so long. And who was, yo, she was, she was really good. I'm, I'm not, I'm, when I'm, just because I, me and someone are not cool doesn't mean I'm going to lie. She was a good friend to me. She was a good friend to me. And I really loved her with all my heart, 100%. Outside of the, the, the fact that we had the same interests. That made it fun though. Do you understand? It's so fun to talk up with someone about, um, Oh my god, like, I don't know, we had just similar interests, like, we're both, like, you know what I mean? Like, we like music, and she has TikTok, and, like, it's not everyone that's on that. Most girls my age, most girls that are 30 plus, or even just 30, when they just want to get married. I'm not saying I don't want to get married, but I'm trying to chase the bag. And I'm doing very well, by the way. Period. Doing very well. But my point is... I, I just want my goals, goals, goals. And she's very goal driven. She's not like, she's not, she's not like marriage, 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 babies, babies, babies. She is to a degree, but it's, she's not. Most girls are like that. And so I, like, she was just my dog. Like, I vibed with her. Loved her. I swear to God, you know, I, I, I said one time I went to go to Baddies um, in America to audition. I swear to God I would have um, bought her ticket. That was recently. I would have bought her ticket. I would have said, let's go, let's go, let's go to America. Let's go, Baddies. What? I was on it like I would have I would have been flown her out. You guys know I've got um I had the 20 grand. I would have been flown Yaz out. Would have gone there, collected it. I'm going to the next one though. Make sure you look look out for it for me so you can send it to me. Um I just want to make sure like this one's patterned. I wanna make sure I, I was I wasn't organized last time. I need an outfit, I need to get on that show. But yeah. Um I loved her. Now I just want to make something very clear. If you guys have watched her interview, she has an interview on Ego. Um, I feel like some of the stuff she says, maybe she says it out of anger. I feel like, a not even some, I'm going to be real. I feel like a lot of the stuff she says is, is kind of untrue. I feel like a lot of the stuff she says is said in, uh, I'm not going to say malice. I think it's said in, is the word anger? I feel like it's said in, I think it's like a little bit like, comes from a, a place of like being malicious and what i mean by that is i'm not saying she's like evil but i'm saying like she's she's i think she's a little bit i, I don't think she's ha happy about how things ended I i'm not sure I'm, I'm not i don't know i don't have her brain but i just feel like some of the stuff she says is just like what i don't get it i, I don't think it's true like from my recollection i'm confused um the only re reason i'm mad at her or was mad at her it's because she comes to tell me, stop making fun of my man, I'ma look silly. I, I I unfortunately put a screenshot of it on my story, but I did that after the, after she, okay, I'ma tell you the gist. She came to tell me to stop making fun of my man. So he lost his case with Esther and, 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 and Andy, and I was laughing at him on my story. She told me to stop making fun of him and I look silly. I can never look silly. Yeah, the guy licked my knees, I can never look silly. I can make fun of him till the cows come home. That's how I felt. Um, and then she decided to... Oh, so... She she was saying some stuff. I was so angry, I saw red, I blocked her. This is where it starts. She's vexed. But then I blocked her like three minutes later. So, at this, at this point, she's put... Lani's dead to me on her story. And then... I've put the screenshot of her telling me to, the screenshot of her telling me to be quiet or what, like, I'm silly or whatever. So, 
that was it. That's literally the beef. It's like, it's, it's, it's kind of small in the grand scheme of things. Um, and then that's it, we just didn't talk. Um, I ended up apologising for putting that screenshot up, obviously, because um, even though she said I'm dead to her first, and I was responding, I said sorry because I still did something bad. I, 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 didn't ha I shouldn't have done that. I still think she shouldn't have told me not to do that, like not to make fun of him, and I feel like she shouldn't have told, said I'm dead to her in her story. I was reacting. But at the end of the day, even I could have not done what I done. Everyone could have just not done shit. That's why we fell out. Cut long story short. Um, and then after that, I just feel like the aftermath, I just feel like she adds me when she wants to on Twitter. She adds me under comments. People send it to me, I don't look. Cause the thing with me is I'm very easily triggered. So I just don't look. You can send me anything you want. If I don't want to respond, I ain't looking. You know, the whole time. Let me tell you something about me. I'm weird. Even though I've come on here and I've 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 spoken about like that Tion posted this or was writing comments in the shade barrel comment section, yeah, when me and him were his his things leaked. I don't know what he wrote. I've never to this day read the comment he wrote. People have literally sent it to me and I said I don't want to see it. Cause see with me, yeah, is I'm not okay. I'm got a screw loose, and when I'm emotional, I just can't act. I can't act properly. I can't. I cannot behave. I cannot behave. I literally lose my crap. Like I literally go mental. And if I saw what he wrote, I would have lost it. I would have lost it. Do you guys remember when Bad Boy Information era? I was insane. That's me. Like I'm insane. I'm insane. So. I don't usually, I try to, I, I know, I, I'm, I, people will t show me screenshots and stuff and I'll see her name, but I won't read it. I'll just be like, mm, I'm just going to ignore it because I don't want to be triggered. And also, like, the reason I took my time kind of like addressing it, even though she did, is because I wanted to come and speak in a way that I would be happy with. And the reason I say that is because my friendship with her wasn't for clout. What I mean by that is that was my dog i loved that that was my sister i loved her with all my heart so i don't want to fight for her for views and that i don't want to i don't want to fight with her for I just i can't i don't know what i mean yeah i just i just don't want that you know what i mean and also, just because someone, I, 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 have to, I have to stay true to what I believe. I still, I believe she was in the wrong for getting involved and telling me not to make fun of him. And I was upset in the moment. But that doesn't mean that I think she was a bad friend to, to me. She has said, however, that I was a bad friend to her the whole time. If that's how she feels, that's how she feels. It's a shame she feels that way. But she's entitled to feel however she wants to feel. So if she thinks I was a bad friend to her, you know, that's a shame. Uh, yeah, that's a shame. I don't feel I don't feel the same way about her. I thought we were two peas in a pod and we're besties. So, um, but she's entitled to how she wants to feel. Um, she made a comment on the ego saying something about she's on a, like a journey where she's being a better person. Um, and she's not all about shaking nash and she's not all about like titties and alcohol and all this stuff and i can't be on the, that type of journey with her and i hear it i don't know what that means because i don't even drink i don't even drink i don't get it um i don't even like f guys like that i don't like guy men are not re men are not and let me know if you say not really men are not a part of my life at all um i'm still in my you know my phase with the the, the girlies right now <laughs> and i've been in my face with the girlies for like three years i swear to god guys like i'm not even yeah so anyway <laughs> um so yeah all in all um yeah all in all i really loved her i think she was a good friend to me 
um, um, yeah, I think it was a shame, but at the end of the day, I also think I deserve the, I deserve the respect of someone, I, I deserve to be respected in the sense of someone should acknowledge that. Okay, cool, I, I might have effed up. It's, it's not, I, I shouldn't have to always, how do I say this? It's not my responsibility to always make up with people or me always beg. Um, I deserve, uh, I hold my hands up, I effed up. I feel like in my life a lot of people have wanted me to like put up and shut up a little bit. Um, I feel that way about, I think I'd still be cool with Tion if I put up and shut up. I, I just, I don't, I think I, I, I deserve to say no, I don't like this and be treated properly. We shall see. Anyway guys, that's what I have to say on the matter. Um, yeah, that's what I have to say on the matter. And um, I'm gonna do more YouTube videos. Yeah, uh, make sure you lot um, make sure you lot DM me if you want to be on the love show. And more importantly, because I have kind of got my cast. More importantly, make sure you DM me if you want to be in the Lonnie Good Good music video. <laughs> my name is Lonnie Good Good because I'm a bad bee. <laughs> call me Lonnie Good Good, but I'm a bad bee. They stay looking, but these brothers can't have me. They call me Lonnie Good Good, but I'm a bad bee. Running up the bands, broke bitches can't catch me. They call me Lonnie Good Good, but I'm naughty.